Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is a super last minute Valentine's Day look. It's just really simple, light pink, kind of glowy look um, because my last one was really bold so I figured I'd give you guys a little bit more of a simple option to do as well. You can make it a lot bolder just by adding a statement lip. I chose to keep it pretty simple, but you know, it's up to you. Um, also, excuse my hair, it's kind of a funny color right now. I'm in the midst of dyeing it. It'll be a lot lighter two days from now, I think, something like that. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so I already primed my face off camera with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I'm just going to go right ahead and do my foundation using my Tarte Amazonian Clay in the shade Fair to Light Honey. Then I'm just going to grab my Beauty Blender and blend that all out. Normally I prefer a brush, but for the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, it's I find it way too thick to use with a brush. It kind of ends up caking it up and everything, so I prefer a Beauty Blender for that. Next, I'm just going to grab my Smashbox High Definition Concealer. I believe it's in the shade light. And I'm just going to take a little concealer brush and use that to brighten up my under eyes and my forehead. Then I'm going to go ahead and buff that all out with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to grab my Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder and the same Beauty Blender and just pack that under my eyes and a little bit on my forehead and in my smile lines just to make sure everything's really set. Alright, moving on to my eyebrows. I am going to do them off camera, but I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony and their little angled brush. After that, I'm just going to grab this big fluffy brush from Glow and brush away any excess powder that's still on my face. Then I'm going to grab the Dermablend setting powder again and set the rest of my face. Next, I'm going to grab my Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced as well as this sort of flat booky brush from EcoTools and bronze up my face. Once I'm done with my bronzer, I'm just going to grab my NYX Professional Contour Palette and contour my cheekbones and my nose. After contouring, I'm just going to grab the banana shade and use that to clean everything up. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to grab my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. And once my eyelids are all primed, I'm going to grab my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And going in with my Morphe E22 brush, I'm just going to grab the shade Coconut Cream to set the primer. And taking the same brush, I'm going to grab the shade Nougat and blend that all the way through the crease, taking it up a little bit higher on my brow bone as that's going to be the transition shade. The same brush again, I'm going to grab the shade Mousse and put it in pretty much the same spot that I put Nougat, just not taking it up quite as high. Alright, now grabbing my Morphe E17 brush, I'm going to take the shade Truffled and work that into the outer V of my crease. Going in again with the same brush, I'm going to grab the shade Coco Chili just to really darken up that outer corner of the crease. With 
with the crease shades all done, I'm going to go in and grab my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Strawberry Milk and a small concealer brush from Glow and apply that to my lid. Now I'm going to grab a sort of flat eyeshadow brush from Glow and take the shade Pink Sugar and apply that on top of where I applied the NYX pencil. Then again taking the shade Truffled, I'm gonna grab my Luxie 221 flat definer brush and use that to smoke out my lower lash line. Moving on to the eyeliner, I'm going to grab my NYX Liquid Matte Liner in black. After my eyeliner, I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and then apply my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. For my lower lashes, I'm going to grab my StretchX Stretch Lash Effect Mascara just because it's a little bit of a smaller brush. After my mascara, I'm going to grab my Mandy Lashes in the style Bombshell. And you guys can actually use my code Ally at to check out to save 10% off everything on mandycosmetics.com. Next, I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow, and I'm going to grab my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush and the shade Bubbly and apply that. For the inner corners of my eyes, I'm actually just going to use my fingertip to apply the highlighter. And for under my brow bones, I'm going to grab a sort of flat shadow brush from Glow. And last but not least, I'm going to grab my Tristique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Nantucket Nude. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. And I hope some of you are able to put it to use. Um, let me know in the comments below what your guys' plans are for Valentine's Day. Because I don't have any. Hmm. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, I hope you guys liked the video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!
kids nowadays, bitches trying to crack out of more dead. Like, how them hoes want to get it with L? And jeez, oh, whatever, just throw on some light glow. Light glow. What? And feels feel fluff. This where was that going? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I hope you boop. I can't speak. I have no words.